My name is Landa Mabenge. I'm coming from South Africa in the town called Cape Town. I work for myself. I've got a consulting company called Landa Mabenge Consulting. And this company serves as a platform to provide linkages to care for trans individuals uh, who are primarily at university level, but also just to serve as a linkage for other organizations that work with marginalized communities, specifically LGBTQI+. I think my community faces a lot of challenges, but to be more precise, it would be the lack of access. Access to resources like education, access to information, access to awareness. Um, there's, a, there's a big barrier in terms of instruments that drive access in South Africa. So my consulting company, what I do is I work with the transgender clinic at Hrutaskir Hospital, which is the biggest public hospital in Cape Town. I make sure that I link students at university level where I sort of also do some discussions, facilitated discussions about my journey, then I'll link them to that care. I also link them to other institutions like non-governmental organizations which provide um, support groups. It's realities that have been there, but they've kind of been marginalized through efforts from communities to kind of silence things that they see as anomalies. So youth need to engage more on an individual context to be able to have the conversations with their peers, to be able to talk about how they feel, what they're going through. I was drawn to this Mandela Washington Fellowship uh, due to the fact that I saw myself as a leader. But more than that, it spoke to identifying and nurturing young African leaders who are going to make a change or an impact in Africa but mostly in the communities that they serve. I have experienced another side to life. I have experienced another side to thinking, uh, to planning, to, to putting together strategies in terms of how to tackle what I've come to learn are called wicked problems. Um, I have actually realized that there are many ways to, to achieve a goal. When I came here, I had a clear strategy, I had a clear plan, it was, it was determined, it was done. But when I got here and I started engaging from Precinct Star, from the networks that we've been introduced to, through to the lecturers that we've engaged with, the facilitators, I've started thinking more broadly. And I've started thinking of other ways that I can get the resource that I am primarily to work with the larger scope that I'm trying to infiltrate, to work with the organizations that are there already in gaining momentum to try to resolve the issues that we face. So the presidential precinct for me has served as a great premise to continue the work that I'm doing, but more so to think bigger than what I thought and to also look at alternative strategies in trying to mitigate through what I'm trying to achieve in my country.